Namaste beautiful brothers and sisters. I have decided I'm going to do a, a live video for every day that I'm on the bottom of the news feed. So I'm currently on a 90 day restriction and, um, and so I've been speaking to Team Jen and we've decided that in order to counterbalance their nefarious algorithms, I'm going to do a live video every day. And in my live video is going to be a reminder to everyone to go and check my wall because even though hardly anyone's seeing it, I'm still posting next level stuff. Very, very important information. So there's a strong chance my post won't come up on the news feed at the moment. So you've got to go to my wall. This is a friendly little reminder to say to everyone, if you want to actually catch up on my posts, I am still posting. You just have to go to my wall. Um, so, yeah, please check out the video I did yesterday. I made a very, very important video yesterday about what I perceive is going on at the moment. And... Um, it's like, I'm going to be speaking a lot about this at the moment. I'm going to be speaking a lot about my upgrade that I've just um, come through sort of thing. I'm still in it. I'm still sort of processing it. But the main revelation is that absolutely everything in the third dimensional matrix situation has been designed to be a distraction it is all a distraction to distract us away from our power and our divinity and so everything like the news um social media netflix um gossiping speaking about other people um you know, like escapism or anything to do with escapism, give them bread and circuses and then they'll shut up. That was the attitude of the old controllers. Why was that? Because they got to keep everyone superficially entertained so that they don't actually look at who they truly are. Do you know what I mean? And so we have to glitch this, this nonsense now and turn off all of those outer distractions. So... Is anyone there? Like, say hello, guys. No one's actually commented. It's not very, very nice for me to hear you and feel your love when um, making a message. So just say hello or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so to just think about taking inventory of your life and think, well, you know, every night I'm, I'm spending about three or four, four hours watching Netflix. And um, why am I doing that? I could be being creative, I could be scripting my life, I could be creating a vision board, I could be really really drawing into my reality the world that I want to be experiencing as opposed to having my consciousness hijacked by the old controllers and then pulling the strings getting me to think about this getting me to talk about that it's all a load of bullshit like they're, they're trying to keep us all distracted because well why that's the question why are they trying to keep us all distracted because we're so flipping powerful guys can you share this video i've got 23 people we can do much better than that please please share this video and um i'd really really appreciate that so um yeah so i'm going to be talking a lot about this on the three three transmission and the energies are building up now for the three three and i'm going to be speaking a lot about the two two about what actually happened on that two two portal that was very very big what happened on that two two portal and i didn't do a transmission because my spirit team said to me there are loads and loads of people that are going to be initiated into facilitating ceremonies on this day and it's very beautiful to allow everyone to explore other facilitators and so i stepped back that day and i I did my own ceremony but I received a lot of information about the 2-2 portal and it's very very exciting information which I'm going to be sharing with everyone on the 3-3 transmission so um, in the 3-3 transmission we are actually going to be doing a very very deep peace on earth protocol like there's a lot of situations going on on earth at the moment which is causing a lot of um confusion and causing a lot of upset for a lot of people and we need to um do a protocol for the ground crew to stabilize now because even the ground crew are wobbling with what the mainstream media is saying even though we're two years in or god knows how many years into mockingbird media 
people are still falling for it. They're still going, oh, well, CNN said this, so therefore it must be true. BBC is reporting that. We'll overlook the fact that the that they're made from cardboard. Those scary things are made from cardboard. But the fact that the BBC have said it, we're just going to like, we're just going to roll with it. Yeah, that must be what's going on. Everyone seems to have lost the plot and lost all all notion of critical thinking um, in this particular situation that we're in. And we need to correct that because if the star seeds are there wobbling, that's no good. <laughs> like your people around you, half of them only came back to the earth because you said, oh, don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to hold the line. And if you're sitting there wobbling, that's sending out very, very um, sort of like discordant codes into the psychic field. So we need to address that. We need to do this protocol and we need to really, really sort out internally um, the uh, the codes and the tools to be able to navigate this situation because we have it within us. I have it within me. I haven't wobbled at all because I know it's it's all bullshit every single thing like if they say left they it the truth is right if all of the virtual signal signaling celebrities are saying one thing it's clearly the other thing do you know what i mean guys you know we're not going to start like agreeing with all like the puppets now are we like we're too we're too long in the tooth for this now Please share this video, guys, but I think we can do better than that. Exactly. The external narrative is a total distraction from our divinity. That's it, Lisa. We must focus within because that is where... That is where our power is. Thanks, Jen. That's exactly right, um, Lisa. You have hit the nail on the head. So th this is a double-thronged thing going on here. It's like, one, we have to know what's going on. Two, we have to know that we're being played. Three, we have to not believe anything that the legacy media says. Four, we have to think the opposite of what they say. So if they say one thing, the truth is the opposite in most cases i mean it's not a, it's not a cut and dry black and white rule but mostly if they if all the celebrity virtue signalers are saying one thing you can bet your bottom dollar that is not the will of god that is not the truth and so, so it, also this is a very very big test about um which side are you on? Oh, you said, oh, that side. Oh, they're the bad side. Oh, they're the baddies. They're the goodies. That is bullshit. Like, the, the, the very, very vibration that keeps our planet locked into the third dimension is division. Is, oh, he's the baddie. She's the goodie. She's the, uh, 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 like, come on now, humanity. Come on. Like, we need to grow up. He did this and she said that. No, we don't know what's going on. There is a, a, a chess game that is being played out that we do not, we are not privy to that information. People like myself, that I do, I remote view, I've got an open pineal gland. I have quite a good chance to go in there and actually check out what's going on. Uh, but that's not to say it's a categorical 100% truth. It's just, that's what I've remote viewed. But what I will say is we have nothing to fear. We have absolutely nothing to fear. God is fully, fully in control. And I'm going to be dedicating the 3 3 transmission to really, really working with the light workers, with the ground crew, to stabilize your energetic field now and to, to stop going into that wobble energy. Your community needs you to be really, really solid and to hold the line. And so we're going to do a, a protocol, like a transmission protocol, to assist everyone to really, really deeply stabilize in these challenging energies that we're experiencing we're also going to be doing a, a peace on earth protocol uh, please share this video brothers and sisters because no one my my things aren't getting on the feed anymore so i need you all to help me thank you for sharing this video i really really appreciate that and, and thank you to everyone on youtube for sharing the video and everyone on instagram for sharing the video as well because i will download it and for all of you hi cynthia darling all of you that missed the beginning of this video, what I said was I'm going to be doing a live video every day while I'm on this stupid restriction. They've given me a 90 day restriction for absolutely nothing just because I supported the truckers. And um, and so what I'm going to do is to counterbalance their nefarious algorithm, I'm going to do a live video every day for all the days. So in the live video, I'm going to be basically reminding us to um, go and check my wall because I'm posting amazing things, even though the only person that's looking is Sheila. Uh, Heather and Yukari because they're actually going to my wall to check 
so anyway please go and check because i'm posting some really really amazing stuff and can you believe it guys oh my god i can feel the sun i can actually feel the sun i'm hot it's official i'm hot i'm in the united kingdom and i'm hot <laughs> stop the press stop the flipping press i need to take my coat off right so now hold on a minute i've got to turn my car on and i'm gonna open this i'm too hot guys i'm boiling i'm absolutely boiling can you believe it <laughs> anyway it's got nothing to do with climate change <sighs> got a lot of orbs hello christina darling so right now another thing that i want to say is that the energies are building up for the 3 3 transmission, brothers and sisters, right? And we all know that something really, really big happened on the 3 3 transmission, and that is that I found out 20 minutes before the end of that, before that transmission started, or about 300, 400 people were signed up to do it, that my brother Liam had passed. And then, and I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to let everyone down. Even though I just found out that my best friend in the universe had just passed over into spirit, I still showed up and I did the transmission. And so we're now coming up to that 3-3, three, three, that a, a year anniversary. And so I want to really, really deeply honour Liam and I want to honour his passing. And I really, really want the community to all come together to honour the fact that it's been one year since our brother passed. And... Um, uh, and we're, we're going to do like some sort of magical ceremony that's going to create a rainbow bridge for our loved ones, for us to have a, have a much more direct contact with our loved ones. So um, I trust that you all, everyone that loves me and everyone that loves Liam and everyone that loves us is going to be there to really, really deeply support this ceremony. I really am calling the ground crew. So in the 3-3 ceremony, yes, remember 3-3 of 21. Thank you, Gurpreet, darling. And also we're going to do, um, we're going to open up all the international borders. We're so powerful, guys. I'm so powerful. I just sit there on my own little blooming whatever. And I'm just like doing my matrix energetics and watching all sorts of things collapse. So we're so powerful. When we really, really get behind our spiritual power, we are, we are infinitely powerful. Like we really, really are. So we're going to be coming together to open up all the international borders. We now we need to be able to move freely in our world. Like, I want to go to Bali. I want to go to India. I don't want to do any of the bullshit. But I really, really, really want to be able... I'm a traveller. I'm a gypsy. I'm a cosmic gypsy for the love of God. I need to get back on the road. Do you know what I mean? We all do. Without, without any of the bullshit. Without any of the nonsense. You know? So please let's all come together for the three three and visualize and hold that space and really really activate that timeline where all international borders are open um so yeah so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be honoring liam's passing we're going to be creating a rainbow bridge for all of our loved ones because heaven's quite busy at the moment i don't know if you've noticed but heaven is quite busy like with everyone, do you know what I mean? With all like the, the adverse reactions from the Jibby Jews and the and what have you. Like heaven's heaven's a busy place at the moment. And so what's really, really good if we can create this rainbow bridge so that our loved ones, there's much more of a direct line of communication between our loved ones. So that's what we're gonna do. And also we're gonna do a, a protocol for all the ground crew to stabilize now and to stop being like wobbling around all over the shop. Um, what what we've just because of what's being spoken about on the legacy media. It's like we, we, we need to um, really have a very big conversation about that. And we're gonna do an activation to assist the ground crew to stabilize. But also brothers and sisters, we're gonna be doing a peace on earth protocol. Like you, you wait till you see what we're gonna be doing um, for this time, because this is too stressful. I, I'm not stressed out about it because I, I understand what's going on, but I know a lot of people are really, really stressed out about what's going on in the world situation at the moment and that's not good that's not good for where we are evolving as a collective like it's not beneficial to have this much fear energy in in the collective and so we really really need to address that so we're going to be opening up a portal for a lot of the fear energy to be released and really really we're going to be doing a protocol for heaven on earth to, to, to anchor heaven on earth but I'm going to segue back to my original message and that is 
that there's a reason why everyone in the media and everyone in the matrix aspect of society is obsessed with keeping everyone distracted there is a reason for that and i invite you to meditate like why do they want us want to keep us distracted what is their purpose what happens if we're not distracted what happens if we face ourselves what happens if we face our creative power and our creative potential what if we start really really showing up as the creative the fractals of God that we are and really start creating heaven on earth what happens well what happens is all their nefarious plans are done and dusted and so this is an invitation for us all to be mindful of our addiction to being distracted this is it yes they're busy busy all of all of us love bugs holding the line yeah so that's the message guys um Also, the message is to watch my video from yesterday. It's very, very important, the message that I put out yesterday for everyone. Loads of codes in that video. And um, loads of people have written to me saying that they, like, they've had a massive upgrade from that video. So I really highly recommend going back and watching the video that I did yesterday. I think I did it on... I can't remember. I think I did it on Facebook. Um, what else was I going to say? So, yeah, and I just spoke about how the fact that you know, I'm now working with this protocol. Oh, good morning, Jen. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful you. Thank you. Hi, Amanda, darling. Gepri, thank you for your tireless reminders. I haven't seen it, sweetheart. I will look. Yeah, no, you'll love that video, Heather. Um, what was I going to say? So also, I was letting everyone know that I've written this book called Divine Actor I Am. And because I've brought through this information, it's really, really transformed me on a deep cellular level. And I've upgraded at a very, very high level. And and so, yeah, I'm, I'm processing that and I'm assimilating my upgrade at the moment. But I just want you all to know that I'm going through an absolutely next level upgrade. And I've brought through a book about my experience. And I wrote, I basically wrote the book in about two days, two and a half days, because it was just like poured out of me. And so this book, um, I'm looking, I'm calling in a group of 10 beautiful souls to come on this master heart, i.e. stroke mastermind um, journey with me to be initiated and carriers of this flame of this manifestation protocol, which is not actually manifestation, it's actualization. So yeah, I was speaking about that yesterday. If we show up, as who we really are, we take them out of positions of power. That's right, Lisa. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I show up as who I am. I know, I remember who I am. And there is no, there is nothing that is blocking me apart from very, very deep unconscious beliefs, which I'm, I'm always like shadow hunting for any more um, beliefs, limited beliefs that are, that are, that are blocking me from showing up in my extraordinary power. So there we go. Hello, Kelly Herbert. Back, uh, welcome back. Who's that person? It looks like... Who's the one sending all those hearts? I wonder who it is. It looks like Joanna, but I don't think it is Joanna. Hello, Kelly, darling. Um, so, yeah, go, go back and watch this video, guys. There's a lot of really, really important information in this video. Um, so I'll post the link to book onto the 3-3. Three, three. It's going to be a really, really big one. We're going to activate peace on Earth. We're going to do a stabilising protocol. <laughs> We're going to do a stabilising protocol for the ground crew. We're going to open up all the international borders. And this is an opportunity. Like, people that haven't done the transmissions. Hello, Archie Bear. You want to say hello to all your fans? Come on, then. Hold on a minute. But what, what people don't understand is that if you've never done a transmission before... They are, they're so powerful in the sense of like for your ascension like journey, the coming together with the ground crew, working at that level of like with the subconscious mind and the superconscious mind, like people fast track their spiritual evolution. Like really, these are priceless, these transmissions. I practically give them away for nothing. And everyone, my son always says to me, mum, what are you doing? That's like, you, you, it's so powerful. Like why do you give, make it so accessible to everyone? But that's because that area of my life, I am gonna show up in that way and, and continue to do this planetary service and do these transmissions. But 
for people that have never done a transmission, it's not like you just come in and do a ceremony. It's like you come in and you literally get cooked. It's like we are all on this ascension journey from caterpillar to butterfly. We're on this ascension journey where our DNA is transforming from a hard popcorn kernel to popped corn you know and so the transmissions are the heat that we that we put to the kernel that makes the kernel pop that makes us go from 3d to 5d like we're not pissing around in the transmissions guys they are absolutely next level for your um, evolution and in terms of really deeply sustaining you in your ascension timeline do you know what I mean? Like, so that, that's what they're doing. It's not like you just sort of like pop in there as a kernel and like have an experience and you pop out as a kernel. You don't. You pop out as a flipping popcorn, as a popped kernel, you know? And that, and that means that you open up your higher timelines, you open up your higher chakras, you have more synchronicities, you have more... Um, more fortuitous meetings you you download um information from your higher self like when you experience the popcorn popping like then we bring online all of our multi-dimensional skills and gifts like it's next level and then you start moving through the world as a master being that's my job my job is to assist as many brothers and sisters as possible that come to me to to, to um my job is to assist you to really stabilize in your mastery codes and that is the whole purpose of the transmissions they are very 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 powerful and next level so um that's all i want to say about that really archie what have you got to say on the, about the transmissions i mean they're powerful aren't they archie bear what do you think archie bear oh no i haven't done an accent for so long i'm so sorry archie bear what do you think Oh, guys, there's one of my place on the Scotland retreat as well. So if you feel like I've got to go to Scotland and, like, you know, connect with Rosalind and Chapel and all that, then, like, come, come. There's one more place. We've got two brothers. So we're going to be doing the sisterhood and the rainbowhood of the... of the Sisterhood and brotherhood of the rainbow rose. Try and see that with a Scottish accent. Right? I'm telling you now, guys, right? It's going to be, like, a sexuality atonement. We're going to be working with the flipping Holy Grail. I'm losing people now. Oh my God. Do they not like the accents for the love of baby Jesus? Oh no, I'm going to get in trouble by Finn. Archie's not allowed in the car. He's the most multiest dog ever. Do you know what I mean? Thanks, Kelly. Thanks so much for like, you know, that word of encouragement, Kelly. That's great totally great but i'm losing i'm losing listeners by the second now you'd think they'd like they'd go for my accent i mean i think it's, it's, a, it's not boring how can you say the accent's boring it's not so anyway whatever just go i don't care whatever trevor isn't it archie they don't want to hear the accent i mean what more what more can i do i can do nothing else in life because I can, I can do my accents can't tell you, Archie Bear, you, you're really trying to steal my thunder here, Archie Bear, aren't ya? I met you maybe a year or more ago, your transmission store record played part in my ascension, so thank you. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing, Amanda. Oh, we've got Joe Freedom still here. Joe Freedom is still in the house. We're going Oz. We don't care. We don't mess around here. We go from Scottish to, to Aussie just like that. And then... Do you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it. I'm losing heart now. People are, people are dropping off like flies. So um, that's my message. I'll post all the links to book onto the 3-3 transmission, the Scotland retreat. Um, sowing seeds about my mastermind. Um, yes, yeah, opening up. For, it's really open for people that have understood that money is a game if you still carry in the burden of like programming around money and thinking that money is hard to come by and um and like carrying on all your parents limited beliefs from after the war around money then this this work is not going to be vibrationally aligned to you this work is for, for the souls that have cracked the code they know money is a game money is an absolute complete and utter 100 percent game and once you realize that you start making a fortune Fortune. and I, that's what I've been trying to teach people 
yeah, that's what I've been trying to teach people, like doing all my wealth containers and what have you. It's to invite you to come home to the realization and the revelation that money truly, truly is a game. And we need to lighten our relationship with money. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then, and then when you do, you can start playing with the big girls and the big boys who also know that money is a game. Yeah, it's a game changer, you know. And I, I came from a very, very poor background. I came from a background of extreme poverty, you could say. So it's not like I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I was born with the most amount of heavy duty programming around money like because my family never had any money do you know what I mean and especially my grandparents had no money whatsoever so it's not like oh like I've had to learn I've I've been down in the gutter and I've ascended from the gutter so I know exactly what it's like to hold that um vibration of lack you know um but I will say you can make a quantum leap and you can just drop that you can let go of that like in in nanoseconds so it it doesn't have a hold on us really it really doesn't have a hold on us so anyway that's my message guys thank you all so much and um yeah so if you're a high ticket coach and you are you know at a position in your life where you're ready to make amazing investments to receive next level protocol next level protocols um come and join my mastermind my master heart so that's it from me and Archie Bear. Thank you to all my beautiful, um, committed, loyal brothers and sisters like Jen and Amanda and um, Heather and everyone and you, Carrie and Sheila and Kelly. And like, I love you all so much. I'm so grateful. And obviously, Gurpri, smashing the generational programming of money and worth. Yeah, like we're children of god we're, we're not created to live in lack that is a program of the old controllers have enforced this idea that lack is virtuous and and to be lackful is is super sexy it's a load of bullshit it's a load of b o l l o x pardon my french that is not true we are children of god we are magical beings we are here to manifest what the bejesus we want whenever we want you know, and all manifestations, they must come from the heart, from the higher heart, from the thymus gland. So we must connect with our higher heart. We're not, con we're not manifesting from that place of our ego, from that superficial place of um, wanting to just accumulate. It's like we're manifesting from our heart. Yeah, heaven is paved in gold. That's exactly right. And so many of us on the, on the hippie path, on the spiritual path, have had this programming, you know, I mean, I spent most of my 20s living in, at rainbow gatherings. No one had any money in rainbow gatherings, do you know what I mean? It was all like magic hat. And, you know, and I didn't have money particularly. I, I had enough money to get myself to India and to live in India for a few months. But I certainly wasn't creating any sort of generational like wealth legacy or anything like that. That's only happened in the last year, really, since I had my breakthrough and my revelation, which is what I wanted to tell everyone about. That's what I was telling everyone about. Do you know what I mean? Why, uh, like, I wanted as many of my brothers and sisters to come on this journey with me as possible to transform your wealth blueprint. Like, I probably won't do that again. I probably won't run those containers again. I probably won't even run a twin flame container again because I just do what what my guides tell me to do, and I'm always coming up with new ideas. So, so I won't. I don't go back and do stuff. But I just want everyone to know that 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 was my 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 motivation was that I really really wanted as many of you as possible to understand that that money is elastic. Like before I had that revelation, I believed that money was was uh, not elastic. What's the opposite of elastic? Unelastic. I thought it was unelastic. I was like, oh, that's my melt wealth blueprint, and I come from a working class family, and that's how much money we earn, and blah blah blah. And I was like, so that's how, that's my belief structure. I'm going to live my life like that. And then, and then I was like, and then I read the book, you know, I had my revelation on that day. And I was like, what, what am I doing? Money is not fixed. Money is elastic. It's totally, totally elasticated. And that's one thing. All rich people realize that. All rich people realize that money's elastic. Money's not fixed. You can, you can completely and utterly have quantum shifts with your relationship with wealth. And that's what I shared about in my video yesterday. 
I said to everyone, you know, I, I, I had stagnated with my wealth blueprint. And then I, I went through this upgrade portal, as I do on the reg. And, um, and then I was like, oh my God, I've stagnated on my wealth blueprint. Oh, I'm going to change that. I'm going to upgrade my wealth blueprint. And then I did a video about it the next day. And I told my community that I'd upgraded my wealth blueprint. And then I ended up manifesting about $50,000 $50, in 48 hours, guys. I manifested $50,000 in 48 hours from transforming my wealth blueprint, from coming to a, from a place where I did not believe that wealth was elastic and money was elastic, to suddenly realizing, oh my giddy on, it is elastic. And then, well, and I was like, well, in that case, if it's elastic, I'm gonna do this. And I did it. And I manifested $50,000 in 48 hours. So that just shows you it's all to do with our belief system. It's all to do with our belief structure. And that's what I'm, I'm really, you know, motivated to inspire people, to assist people to understand that, that you can have like radical shifts and radical transformations just like that by changing one belief one belief and it can open the door to so much healing so much wealth do you know what i mean anyway that's my message so yeah i'm i'm sowing seeds for my mastermind everyone that comes forward to do this mastermind i am going to initiate them in this actualization process so i've been i've basically received a very very powerful uh, actualization process from my higher self which no teacher about the law of actualization has ever 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 shared it is really really where we become true true master manifestors and so I have been given this sacred uh, code and I'm going to be sharing it. I'm going to be sharing it far and wide. I'm going to be sharing it in my book, sharing it in my film that I'm going to make. But I'm also going to be working in a master heart situation. And this is going to be like a mastermind. We're going to go on a three month journey and I'm going to really deeply teach and activate um, a group of, very, of 10 very high level coaches or mentors um, to be able to work with this practice with their own clients in order to be able to and and in their own lives to be able to achieve um phenomenal phenomenal success with, with manifesting so yeah i'm gonna make it into a film it's gonna be sort of a little bit like the secret but much better because the secret even though it, it, it's it's like a real real basic introduction to our spiritual power this is like an encyclopedia in depth inquiry and revealing of our true spiritual power so anyway guys that's it that's it so thank you so much for watching this video i'll post everything above and below and i don't know in the comments so yeah it's been great totally great master heart mind enrollment open now for 10 spots please write to cosmic gypsy there you go okay guys i think i'm gonna go go out now and um yeah, I think I'm going to go for a little walk in the sun because it's really beautiful in the sun. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And um, Archie Bear, have you got any words of wisdom for everyone? I mean, go on, they're all waiting. What have you got to say? Oh, I'm just picking up a telepathic message. Hold on. What, what, what are you saying? What are you saying, Archie Bear? Oh, yes. Right. Basically, Archie says you're all so beautiful and he's so honoured to be holding space in the fourth dimension for everyone in this, in this community. Archie loves you. He says, don't worry guys, we've got this. Archie says, do you honestly think I would have returned to Earth if this was a massive shit show with the, with the NWO? I don't think so. I'm too beautiful. Look at me. Look how beautiful he is. Isn't it Archie Bear? We've got this, haven't we? He said, he said, yeah, he said, yeah, I heard him telep telepathically. Right, so anyway, say goodbye. Say bye-bye, everyone. We love you. And Archie, you're going to keep looking after me, aren't you? My little protector. Mwah. All right, guys, God bless. Have a beautiful day and a blessed Sunday to all of us.